Hello viewers, this is Just Fake Network TV, a place where you can get the latest information about Nigerian news and out the news in details. SARS, operatives still on road, defying high GPs order, Nigerians cries out. Following public outrage, Nigerians Inspector General of Police Muhammad Adamu had on Sunday banned officials of the Federal Special Anti-Robbery Squad, FSARS, and other police tactical squad from carrying out routine patrols and other low, low risk duties. But Nigerians say nothing has changed. Various road users shared their observations and experiences on Twitter between Sunday and Monday, suggesting that the FSAS operatives mm -hmm. have yet to comply with the police chief instructions. Some of the conventional low risk activities prohibited by the police had included stop and search duties, mounting on roadblocks and security checkpoints, as well as traffic checks. They are to concentrate and respond only to cases of armed robbery, kidnapping and other violent crimes when the need arises, the high GPs emphasized. He added that their activities would not monitor and the 14 officers would be promptly arrested and invest investigated and prosecuted. It however appeared compliance level are not absolute as many people have reported seeing operatives of the controversial police unit on the road since the press statement release. Richie Emanuel tweeted on Sunday evening that he was extorted by FSA House personnel in Lagos State a few hours after the announcement. I left the house a few minutes ago for my shoot. Sir stopped me at Kako bus station. I told them who I am and showed them my videos and all. They searched my voice, my phone, and saw I was clean in a rated. The next thing they asked me how I got money to buy my phone. You can imagine these people, these SARS people that we are talking about. They don't even know what they are supposed to do at the right time. Let's go for that. Which I told them. They went to my message and opened my bank SMS and said if I don't send if I don't send them the money, they will shoot my leg and I can't dance anymore. I have to send them all the money in my account. Wow. Report. Some with attached pictures and videos indicate that officials have since been cited at various places in Lagos, including Ojota, Alao, Sashomolu, and Isole. Other states where they were seen were with the local government area of Enugu State, Bini State in Edo State, and Girea in Adamawa State, SAS operatives mounting roadblocks at Girea, Adamawa at the moment, despite the orders of the high GP yesterday as applauded by the Vice President, Shagun Awosonya, convener of the of the hand SARS campaign, tweeted as at past 12 p.m. on Monday, the high GP's order is yet to make any impact on the ground. It is not the first time the police headquarters would read the riot against the riot heart to F SARS operatives to lead to effect. Echoing an earlier announcement, former Inspector General of Police Ibrahim Idris said in September 2018 that the officials were banned from indiscriminately searching citizens. You are barred from searching assets and laptops of innocent citizens unless the search is directly linked to a case or directed by high GP or any person or persons, he also delegated the warrant. He added that any officers who detain someone beyond two days risk getting dismissed from service. The following years, President Muhammad Buhari directed the IGP, Ministry of Justice and the National Human Rights Commission, NHRC, to work on implementing a report submitted by the presidential panel on the reform of the Special Anti-Robbery Squad within the three months. It is not clear how much progress has been made by the stakeholders in, the, in that regard. Here are some of the tweets reporting recent activities of the office of the officers, SAS operatives mounting roadblocks at Giri Adamawa at the moment. Despite the orders of the high GP yesterday, as applauded by the Vice President, Ash and SAS, harsh and impunity, Hash Reform Police Nigeria, Hash C High at C High AF underscore Nigerian. Wow. 
So the reality is that many things is really, really happening in that country that is not supposed to happen. And you know, a lot of people on Twitter actually like commented on it. And you know, where some, some people were saying that uh, I thought they put a ban on the half F SAS, but I just passed by around the Keja Alausa with a young guy being arrested. We are tired. Harsh and SAS brutality. Harsh and SAS. As Hash and SARS permanently now. You know, they said, chat I had with an officer who once saved me from his colleagues. The band was audio. These people don't rate us or care about our life. And that is just the reality about it. They don't care about Nigerian common man. You can imagine a police that's supposed to be working as a police officer, not even ordinary police officer. As a very, very faithful officer, not corrupted ones, that's supposed to secure his people. He is, it is now that same police that is collecting money, eh? taking bribes from people. You can imagine this person was saying that he, he had to withdraw all this money in the account. Because the police said, if you don't do that, he's going to shoot you. And you will not be able to sing again or dance. What what kind of shameless securities that we have in the country? Unfaithful fellows. Corrupted securities. The police, the soldiers, all of them, they are just there. They are useless set of people. What they are supposed to do, they will not do it. The people that they are supposed to deal with, they will not deal with them. They will start dealing with innocent ones. The people that does not even know anything at all. So this Nigerian government is becoming more poorer and poorer every day. And they are making it worse. It's getting worse and worse every day. Even the police officers, people, you will see police like this and you still be scared. Because you don't know the mind of those police. You don't know maybe they are working for another people. What a shameful Nigerian leaders. What a shameful police. What a shameful security officers that we have in the country. So viewers, what do you think about this? What is your own take? Kindly drop your comments in the comment section below for